Hi, this is the Getting Started Screencast Series, sponsored by Zen Framework. My name is Mitchell Hashimoto, and I'll be hosting this screencast. So in this screencast, we're going to show you how to install the Zen Framework and set up a basic directory structure for your first application. So the first thing um, to do is to launch uh, your web browser. And then the Zen Framework website is framework.zen.com. <clears throat> and then right here on the left, you can see the latest version of the Zen Framework, and then a big Download Now button. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And you can download the Zen Framework in two different formats, zip or tar.gz. Both um, contain the same files, so whichever you prefer, whichever you're more comfortable working with, I'm going to download the zip, and I'm going to save it to my desktop. So there that goes. And then once this downloads, um, I'm going to close my web browser and we'll see what to do from there. Um, I'm using the Mac operating system to show this, but the Zen framework works equally the same on Windows and Linux. So whichever you're using, um, just follow along. If there's any major differences, I'll be sure to point them out. So now that that's downloaded, I'm going to close my browser. And here's the file right here. I'm going to unzip it by double clicking on it. And this will create the Zen Framework folder right here on the desktop. Uh, once that's done, I'm just going to drag this to the trash because we don't need it anymore. And let's see what is in the Zen Framework, or what's in the folder we just downloaded. Alright, so we have a bunch of text files which uh, have uh, basic but important information that you should glance over. And the version file here, you can see that I'm using Zen Framework 1.0.3. If you have a earlier version um, or a later version, it'll it should work fine. But if your version is earlier, I do recommend updating because there are important bug fixes in later versions. Um, the library folder here is what we're concerned with, though. The library folder contains all the Zen Framework code, and to install it, quote unquote, um, normally we would FTP or secure shell this to our server, but for the purpose of the screencast, I have a local server set up right here, um, the folder's highlighted in red, so I'm going to go ahead and open that, and I'm just going to drag the library folder over to it. Once that's done, if you have no more need for the files in the Zen Framework folder, you could throw that away also. And so now we're looking at this folder with our library. And that's all there is to installing the Zen Framework. There's no complex configurations, no shell scripts to run, that's it. Just copy a folder and you're ready to start developing with the Zen Framework. Um, we're going to start creating the directory structure for our first application now. So I'm actually going to start up a local server. I'm using MAMP just because it's easy to use, easy to create a quick website locally on Mac. Um, there's also options such as this available for Windows or Linux. Um, if that's the platform you're running on, a quick Google search will reveal many options. So now that that's started, I'm going to launch my browser and go to that page. So here it is, the library folder. It's right here. Now the Zen framework doesn't require any it doesn't require any specific directory structure for your application, but there are a few things to keep in mind. One is that your library folder, your library code, and your main application code should always be outside of your web root. And the reason this is stressed is for security. It protects your code if it's not accessible by the web. And um, so it protects your code if any exploits arise or anything. At least you have that basic security barrier there. And so I'm going to create <clears throat> a new folder called public here. And on a shared host, it may be very difficult or even impossible to change your web root. If this is the case, um, I recommend researching further options, maybe contacting your hosts about it, 
I know one of the options available if your host is running Apache is to use an HT access file to forbid users from entering certain directories, but your host would definitely know more about that. So what I just did was I created a public folder, and I'm going to change my uh, web root to that public folder. So preferences. Public. OK. It'll restart the server. Alright. Um, refresh. And now it's blank. And the reason it's blank is because the public folder has nothing in it. And that's what we want to see. So now you see it's out. The library, the Zen framework library, is outside of the web root. I can't get to it by URL. There's no way I could get to it. And so it's safe. And so now I'm going to open TextMate, which is the uh, text editor that I'm using. You could open Notepad or whatever PHP editor you usually use. And then I'm going to open this the server folder. So as you can see, it looks very similar to this library public, library public. And the first step in any application is to set up the um, public files. And the first public file is actually a .htaccess file. And I'm actually going to go to the Zen Framework website 